as is the standard in coding, I have many ideas for different projects, but whether they're actually possible or whether I'm gonna be able to actually complete them is a different question. Welcome to the most addictive game in the world. Previously, I was able to write a code capable of solving this whole maze. If you're interested to see how I actually did it, check out the previous video. But today I feel like exploring a completely different puzzle. It is the cactus puzzle. Now this doesn't look like a farm really, so let me change that quickly by running this nice code. So this is our farm. We get to plant a lot of shit, harvest it, gain resources. That's the main principle of the game. Anyway, what we've unlocked is a cactus, so we can now plant cacti. And they have an interesting mechanic. Basically, I would say we plant a cactus in every tile of this farm. And then, as you can see here, when you harvest a cactus, all of them are harvested. But what we're actually interested in is the number of cactus items they drop. So we want to maximize that. And they only drop these items if they are in sorted order. Say this is a cactus. Each cactus has a value ranging from 0 to 9. So let's say this is a 5. It will give us resources only if these two here have higher value. So for these, this to the top and this to the right or to the east has to be larger and the stuff in the south and the west has to be of lower value. However, we also have the option to swap two cacti, two neighboring ones that is. So let's just try it, write some code, we'll see. But as for the way this should work, I think we basically need the lowest value here and the highest here in the top right corner, right? Because from any cactus, we need higher to the north and to the east. So basically this whole area needs to be higher than this one. So I'd say sort it and then do like strips. So low values, then higher, higher and so on. However, I'm now realizing that I can easily sort stuff in an array in code, but I can't really do it here because I have to swap two neighboring ones. So I have a different idea. Okay, okay. How about this? What if I sort the cacti in each row? So I sort this row, then the second row and so on. And then we should be sure that on the left side are the lowest numbers of each row and then I also sort the columns. I think that should work, right? Because we basically need bottom left, smallest, top right, highest values and if you sort in both of those directions then you should be able to achieve that, right? All right, let's see. Cactus planter. Now first of all we're just gonna plant them everywhere. So we're gonna clear the field. We know what the world size is. So world 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 size equals get world size and let's just do two loops like we're used to because i like loops so for column in world size i think i can do or am i wrong let me see so do a flip whatever does this work ah shit it's fucking ah, uh no no i can't uh can't be okay yeah I have to put the brackets there and I've also learned I shouldn't put the space here. So this should work. Oh, fuck me. Oh, range. Shit. In range. There we go. That's it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Nice. And since this is square, we can also do for row in range world size. So this should visit every tile in this grid. And what we're going to do is plant item and it's going to be this is actually my custom-made method a function looks like this plant item you give me the item to plant and the seed of the item and i till it I actually don't have to till it for for these okay fuck that never mind because normally i would have to till the ground for some items to be planted but i don't think a cactus needs that so just call the plant function and how does this work exactly? Entities.cactus. There we go. We obviously need the cactus seeds. Yeah, required seeds is cactus seed, obviously. So let's buy them here at the start. 
trade and we need to buy items dot cactus seed and the cost of that is 10 gold we've got 26,000 because of the mazes I think it really worked so we've earned a fuck ton I think it's called and how many do we need so world size is the size of the square and we need that squared so how many world size and is it like this to the power of two and then we plan that shit so let's just run this and it beautifully doesn't work i feel like i fucked way too early why doesn't this work well it did buy the cactus seeds in range world size get world size a row in range oh shit it just plants it it doesn't move the drone doesn't fucking move i'm an idiot there that should be better so we plant a cactus move north to the next tile and once we finish a row we move east to the other column and continue and it's not planting why why not oh this is bullshit i wanted to start with the puzzle but i can't even do that on soil oh shit so i do need to till the ground don't i okay so here we instead say plant item um this is the item as i said and the seed is items dot cactus seed cactus i said fuck cactus seed there this is gonna work beautifully yes yes we've got cacti growing and as you see each of them is different size so now we need to use the function measure to get the size of the cactus and sort each row and each column. So what I did is I made a function called plant cacti, which does all this planting and I'm calling this function here. So we basically plant the cacti, then I'm gonna say sort the cacti and then I actually think I might just as well call harvest because I can harvest any one of them. Yeah, let's let's try it. So now next step is to sort. So that's another function right here. And we're again gonna need the world size and the two for loops. But we're no longer gonna be planting and the for loops are not gonna look like this. I just had in my mind that I want to do rows first. So let me switch those row column. So for every column in the first row, what we're gonna do is call the measure function. That will tell us the value of this cactus. And I would say let's use like a bubble sort and basically compare these two. If this one, the one on the left, has higher value, we swap them. If not, we move to the next and continue comparing. This means sometimes we swap, sometimes we don't, but once we reach the end, we have to go back and do this whole thing again. And I'd say have a boolean, which tells us, have I swapped at least two cacti? If so, we need to repeat the whole row again. And once we pass through without having to swap single piece, then we can move on. So I'd say have swapped is initialized at true, meaning we want to keep sorting. And if I measure the current cactus and it's higher than the cactus to the east, I need to swap them. So swap east and have swapped equals true. I don't think I actually have to do this, but we'll see, I can remove it later. And actually this while loop has to be here. In other words, keep doing this row while there is swappage then you move east and go again i'd also say the start of the while loop we actually want to say have swapped equals false that's it so let's start the loop have we swapped no so let's go through each of these in this row if we need to swap them we do and say that we have actually swapped move the drone and let's go compare the other two cells. Now actually, when we reach the end, we don't want to compare it to anything else, right? So maybe world size minus one, we'll see. Anyway, we reach that, we move east and we should be back here. Although we then need to move east again because I just put minus one, I think. Then the while loop says, okay, so have you swapped anything in this row? We probably say yes looking at this. 
So we go again. So I'd say after all this, we should have each row sorted. And here, after the while loop has ended, we can move north and start the next row. Oh, and we need every row to get sorted. So not minus one here. Let, let's just try this. Let's try it. Fucking hell. Why not? Oh, I'm running the wrong function. Hang on. Uh, yeah. So let's... I don't want to clear this. Okay, you know what? Actually, I don't want to plan them either. Nor harvest. I just want sort. Why would I call this? I'm an idiot. Hang on. New function. <laughs> I'm just gonna call the sort function, right? So let's start that. And it's sorting the first row. And you see, it got sorted. Yes! So it works. Yeah, but then the issue was that we moved north. This inner loop ended. We moved to the second row, but have swapped in the end was false. So we move north and I'd say before this loop, we say have swapped equals true there. So, so we don't probably need it at the start. So let's, let's try again. Now the first row yeah, was sorted already. So the drone skipped it. This row sorted this one as well. Oh God, it's working beautifully. I love it. It's really great. I'd say also it's really fast. So all of these cacti are now sorted, basically. Yeah, everything sorted. So once this code ends, we know the rows are sorted. And now we need to sort the columns. You know, we could harvest now and we would probably get a lot of profit. But for example, this cactus right here surely has the lower values to the left. Surely it has larger values to the right. You know, there's no doubt about it. But above, higher, that's, you know, an accident, lucky, but below that, in the south, there's a larger cactus. So we got the sort in the other direction as well. Now, I've done the sorting in the columns as well. Obviously, the code is identical, basically, to what we had before. All I had to do is just rename these variables, because why not? And most of all, before we said measure and compare to the east if larger swap east move east move east move north and this is just swapped so measure north compare to north swap north move north and eventually move east so i could clean this up but for now i went with the other option of minimizing it <laughs> so don't look at it don't complain <laughs> so this function should sort the cactuses. I'm just gonna call it again, sort cacti. So now it should check the rows, see that they are all good, then start doing it with the columns until they are also sorted. And we'll see whether this works. I mean, it probably should. It could, right? We shall see, but I don't know how. <laughs> okay, you're almost there. Just this cactus needs to go down and there it is. Okay, we're done. So let's just eyeball it. I'd say we're good. Is this probably the same as this one? Are these identical? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I'd say so. It seems like they are, or at least these stripes work. So maybe this one is larger than this one. I don't know and I don't care, but they are both larger than this one. Okay, so let's harvest. This might be the true test because We've got nine by nine grid, so that's 81 cactus items. And if I look at the unlocks, yeah, we should get 100% only. So the yield is 100%, haven't upgraded that. So we either get 81 or I've fucked up the code. Harvest. Oh, 729. Well, I'll, I'll take that as a win. A truly happy, it fucking works, okay? Now, how many do we get per cactus? Oh, per cactus is the world size. I see. So we should get 81 times 81. No, sorry, world size is 9. Oh, shit. Almost had a heart attack there. Right, so world size is 9. So each cactus should drop 9. And we've got 81 of them. And 81 times 9 is 72 and bonus 9. It fucking works. Yes! So this was much easier than the mazes after all. What can I buy for the cactus items actually? Dinosaurs. Okay, that's ridiculous. Do you know what? I think we have time. Let's optimize the code a little. I think this is quite nice, to be honest. <laughs>
This is also fine. Let's just make it a little smaller. There we go. <laughs> Optimized. Now the planting, I'd say we're also good. So just buy as many as you need and, you know, plant them. Obviously, it could be a little optimized since now the plant item always checks whether the ground is tilled. It also checks whether we've got the necessary seeds and so on. But I'd say, fuck that. Let's be safe. You know, what if I run out of seeds or whatever? So I think we only need to optimize the sorters. I think this should basically work. So I say sort cactus direction east then sort cactus direction north, the direction gets passed to this function here. Not even sure I can define two functions like this. Hope so. And it's essentially the same. I just measure in the direction, swap in the direction and move in the direction. And at the end, I have this ugly hack, you could say. If we are moving north, at the end, I move east. And if we are moving east, I move north. It's not the prettiest one. I could have an array of directions or dictionary and the complementary direction and whatever no need for that also i don't have dictionaries unlocked yet so i have an excuse now let's see if this works first the cacti get planted and i'd say doing a great job at that then yeah we seem to be sorting the directions correctly these two functions we had originally are never called. So yeah, sort the rows, now sort the columns. All seems to be going well, I'd say. And eventually we're gonna harvest. Now we yeah, see this cactus bubble down. We should be good here. And this is also, no, this cactus is going down. And there we go, all harvested for insane profit. Is this, what was it, seven to nine times two? Yes, seven times two is 14. 2 times, yeah, and 9, yeah. So that's again full marks. And we no longer need these two functions. So this is the whole code. The planting bit is insanely easy. And then, you know, just this idea of sorting rows and columns, and there we go. That's it. Only two hints, and both called hint 1. I'm interested. If every column and every row of the field is sorted, then all... Oh, fuck off! I honestly think I was, you know, pretty smart. <laughs> okay, it, it seems to be too easy. You get rewarded, uh, so on. Yeah, you don't have to sort 100%. Of course you don't. But you probably do want to, right? I mean, you could technically put a cap on the number of passes the drone does in each row and column. Maybe make it a bit faster. You know, skip a few rewards, for example. If there's a cactus here of value 9 and the rest are 1s, then it takes one pass. What the fuck am I saying? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and if you're interested to see some optimization, I think that's on the program next time. Because there's a bunch of stuff we need to figure out, we need to optimize, we need to fucking unlock. Just look at this. There's like a bunch of stuff I haven't unlocked because I'm an idiot and I probably should have. A long time ago. Also, this expansion and the speed upgrades are just pissing me off. So we're gonna have to dig deep and just finish this.